Hi there, my name's Bren and today I'd love to show you around my cottage garden. So why don't you sit back with a cuppa and relax for a few minutes and I'll show you around. <music> back garden. This is where I'll concentrate showing you around today. Um, there's a nice old table and chairs that I got for free and um, they I like sitting there and having my coffee in the morning and admiring these beautiful sinews. I planted them this year for the first time and I'm so happy with the results. They're a beautiful cut flower with such a nice long stem. Perfect for this area which gets mostly full sun and as I mentioned I um, do like the cottage garden style so I do intermingle edibles with flowers so I have a couple of vines here the first one there is um, a Ron Denise it's a um, heirloom variety from France it's a courgette and it's like a like, big ball that one needs to be harvested it's quite large and over here, these are golden nugget pumpkins, quite small and compact, nice as an individual portion, stuffed. Um, now I do have quite a lot of edibles in the garden, so I'll probably do a separate video, maybe a garden harvest. And today I'll try and just do a general overview of my back garden, so you can see where those flags are. That area there had a large tree um, about three months ago. Um, it was damaged, it had been struck by lightning and um, we had that removed and it really opened up this whole area of the garden from semi-shade to full sun. So it didn't look like this a year ago. Now I can put in all the sun-loving plants Lots of vines, edibles, it's really lovely and colourful, it's looking quite nice. So in this section you can see the teepees, I planted some cucumbers in there and over here have some bush variety tomatoes. These are called um, Thai pink egg tomatoes and they are prolific producers. Look at this one over here. I'm actually even shocked myself at how many tomatoes are on this. That's only one, whoops, that's only one plant there. I would say there's close to 50. So as I said, I'll do a separate harvest video. You can have a look at them. Got some more zinnias there. There's my greenhouse. The cover got blown off a couple of times, so I just left it off. Um, that's where I do all my propagating. And where this winter for the first time I'm planning on um, overwintering cap my capsicums, eggplants and um, chilies. Down here we have a vine patch. So I have um, pumpkins in here. Um, there's a large one over here. This one is massive. <laughs> it's called a mother hubbard. It's the only one grown on the vine, so I think it's getting all the goodness going straight into it. If I put my hand down, you can see how huge it is. I always have dirty nails, unless I'm inside cooking. I try and wear gloves, but sometimes I just want to feel the dirt, if that makes sense. Um, so we'll go back this way. And I do have a lot of fruit trees here as well. A few of them were already here on the property. But this one here, oh, I can't. This one over here is a um, lemon tree. And behind it there is an orange tree. And this is the entrance way into the chickens. We have three chickens. There's two of them there. Fuji! Come here and say hi. Come here. So I've got one for each child, That's and my kids name them. So this one's called Fudge Cake. Come say hello to everyone, Fudgy. 
she's such a friendly little chicken aren't you and um, so there's fudge cake rainbow and sparkles and they've got this big area here the chicken coops down the back you can kind of see that brown structure past the orange tree so I'm hoping the plan is that I might actually put some more um, fruit trees in here which I think would grow quite well I just have to make sure I put something around to stop the chickens getting at it and um, I also have a plan this is only a temporary fence to keep the chickens out you can see the fencing there I've got some cucumber melons growing up over here sorry about my finger I have to get used to recording on the side I'm not used to it um, but I put some I'm hoping to put some more native plants along there to attract some wildlife and um, over here that's a um, gourd isn't it beautiful I put in about three or four seeds um, from a mixed gourd pack and this is one of the varieties that's come up and I've got no idea of the name so if anyone knows what the name is I'd really appreciate you letting me know and um, you can put it in the comments of this video and then I've got it growing over the top I'm really into my archways I just put them in recently this one here is um a grandma pumpkin. See it there? There we go. Um, so we'll go back down here. So I've also got some down at the back here near that old um, cubby house. Got some um, more, I've got watermelons, rock melons in there. Got some preserving melons. Um, so quite a lot of vines. Here's my daily a patch. I really need to do a bit of deadheading. But aren't they just beautiful dahlias? The vibrant colours, different styles. They actually they grow quite well here. Um, I only just put these in a few months ago. I tried to grow dahlias last year and it was an absolute disaster. I didn't really know what I was doing and I didn't research it enough. So I was trying to grow them in pots straight into uh, compost which I think just wasn't draining enough and the tubers were just a mushy mess it was a disaster and I was so disappointed because they're not cheap but you know I thought I'd give it a go again here's another one here beautiful flower so pretty swaying in the breeze good I think and down there I've got a couple of chili plants this one just there and this one here so I'd say about 80% I grow my edibles from seed but you know what I'm sure a lot of you are the same you go into a garden center and you see some little seedlings and you just you just know you'll fit them in you'll make room for them somewhere and that's what I do. So here's some trombonchinos. A couple of self-seeded sunflowers in there. That tree there, that's an art, a lemon tree. It needs a bit of pruning. So we're going this way. I'll take a few steps back so you can get a bit of a better idea. I do grow a few things in pots there. A few edibles. I've got some chili plants, eggplants, just to compare between pots and straight in the ground. So there's a few um, sunflowers there. That's where the chicken coop used to be. We moved them to the back of the garden and I just let everything grow. And some sunflowers came up and also lots of tomatoes. There's a vine there, I think it's a cucumber. So just mowed around it and let everything grow. A beautiful magnolia tree. It's not in flower at the moment, but it's stunning. It has big cup shaped flowers. It's really beautiful. There's another little bench there that I like to sit on and relax. The back garden I find is very peaceful. As I said, we live in a little country town outside of Sydney. Um, I'm not sure of the population, but it's reasonably quiet. 
um, but yet close enough to be able to go into the city and have a nice day out with the kids. If anyone's interested, I do have an Instagram account called GG the Garden Girl, where I put more regular updates of my garden and what I've harvested, what new plants I'm trying to propagate, new areas I'm trying to do up. I do have a lot of plans now for um, autumn to get ready for spring. I've um, got a lot of lavender that I want to put down as a hedging, hopefully. So now we're in this other area. So when we moved in, pretty much all of this was just grass. And I may mention I do have three kids and I really gotten back into gardening or really fully into gardening about um, three years ago two, three years ago, when my youngest started a preschool, I found I had a bit more time to pursue this hobby of mine. Well, it's really more of a passion, I think. I'm a bit obsessed. <laughs> Completely love it. So as well as having vegetables and fruit all around the garden, I do have this raised garden bed area where most of my edibles are grown. There's a nice dahlia there. Do you know, I call myself a 50-50 gardener. I can't decide which I love more, growing vegetables and fruit or growing flowers. Just love them. Got some, all those steaks there for the tomatoes. I have to, that white, those white bags, I have to bag up my tomatoes, most of them, because uh, we do get um, fruit fly in this area and there's nothing more disheartening than opening up a tomato and it's full of maggots and really disgusting as well. Okay, because even though I love gardening, I'm not really the best with insects. I nearly jump out of my skin if I see a spider or some other little bug crawling around. Anyway, it's a bit weird, but there you go. There's some corn there. And I tried to do a nice straight path. It's not very straight, but luckily everything's kind of overflowing, so you don't really notice. Got some more squash there. Got cucumbers. Um, down at the back, I've got eggplants. Pretty lucky in this area I can grow most things. We get quite a long summer and um, even our autumns are quite mild. There's a few little plants there that I've propagated. Um, silver beet and this is um, my tomatoes here. I try and single stem them but this one just got out of control so but it's fine. I've got um, come around this way I've got some more, some nice tomatoes there and some beans. I harvested a load of these beans this morning. These are um, asparagus beans. Oh, that's not the right name. They are um, long yard beans or red snake. Anyway, I'll just give you more of a general overview. I love coming in here. I love the way the corn it's so tall you can't see around the corner. And I'm really excited about getting it planted up for winter. Put lots of winter edibles in here. I've got um oh there's the sunflowers are nearly finished. And down here I've got the best producing tomato plant so far. It's called um, a blueberry tomato. And look at the colour of these. Isn't that the prettiest, prettiest thing you've seen? Oh, what's that? That's not a good sign. God, I hope, I haven't actually bagged these ones because um, they seem to have been fine so far. Oh God, I really, I might get on top of it now after this video. 
Um, and I can see a lot of red in here. There you go. I'll have a look through all of them. I'm really excited. I've got a giant Russian that's bigger than the palm of my hand. I've got it all wrapped up over here, a giant Russian tomato. I'll open that up. I might record that and see what it looks like. That's a general idea of the main res raised beds. Um, I have actually, because I ran out of room, this was originally, this area here was originally my veggie garden. I had an in-ground garden and I had some extra plants and some little seedlings I bought from the garden centre. I put them in there. I need to pick up that um, apple on the ground. The apple trees here. This apple tree my dad bought for me um, when our first child was born. We have another one over here. And oh, it's, they've got quite large, but the birds are always getting at them. It's a constant battle, which I don't mind sharing some. That's why I have left some out of the bags. Hopefully we'll get a bit of a harvest this year. We'll see how it goes. This area here is where I have a sunflower fort. I do it every year for our kids. I'll just dig out, have a semicircle, and put in lots of sunflower seeds, lots of different varieties, and see what pops up. And they love this area, and so do I. Look at all those lovely sunflowers. It just makes you so happy. I had a lot more here, but the cockatoos have got them already, and some of them have gone over. Oh, I should have filmed this maybe a week ago to show you, but you still get the kind of idea. I think it still looks great. We have a little entryway here. Where they walk in. They come in here. So you have some self-seeded tomatoes so they can have some food. Some little snacks there. Their little eyes look up to the sky. And see all these beautiful sunflowers. I hope you liked the tour of my garden today. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. And I hope to share much more of my gardening journey with you in the future. So if you're interested, please click on the subscribe button and follow me. And until then, thank you and goodbye.